I was listening to an interesting podcast. For those of you who don't know me, never seen anything by me, um, I'm a Christian, a very, uh, a very engaged, fairly conservative uh, Christian. So I listen to a lot of different podcasts that are, you know, uh, that kind of go along with my faith, right? So things that edify, things that teach, um, all under the basis of uh, Christian faith. So um, if you're not interested in Christianity or talks on religion, I kind of hope you stick around anyway to listen to the remainder of this video. I'll try to keep it short because um, it never hurts to hear other people's opinions. Um, if you are a Christian, I have some, uh, you know, just a couple interesting points to hit. So, number one, the podcast that I was listening to that brought me to this kind of conclusion was, uh, Cold Case Christianity. It's done by a guy by the name of J. Warner Wallace. I believe I got that right. The links will be below in the comments. Um, and he is a cold case homicide detective living in California been doing it for many years, was an atheist for many years, and using his skills as a cold case um, investigator, detective, um, he applied that to uh, Christianity. And through his process, it's a very long process, he wrote, he's written a couple books, I'm reading, reading them now, um, so maybe I'll throw in some reviews later. But uh, the long and short of it is, through his process, he became a Christian. He gave his life over to Jesus Christ, and now he is wholeheartedly um, a Christian believer, and he is a very, very good apologist, which is just a fancy word for someone who defends the faith. So I was listening to his podcast today, and it got me thinking about something, because he mentioned an article from Fox News, which I will uh, find the link and put it in the sh in the in the show notes below uh, the video, once it's posted. And he made reference to this article on Fox News talking about... Um, the, the biggest gist I got out of it is, as Christians, uh, we need to remember that although... Our truth does not change. The immutable truth of the Bible does not change. God does not change. The culture in which we live certainly changes and moves forwards. And I'm kind of paraphrasing some gleaning points that uh, Mr. Wallace had, uh, combined with maybe some of my own um, additions to it. And that is that in today's age, we are seeing a huge culture shift. And my cousin and I have talked about this. Um, uh, my cousin is a productivity expert, Mark Struchetsky, markstruchetsky.com. I'll throw his link down there too. Um, but anyway, we have, he's a Christian as well, and we have lots of, uh, in-depth conversations about, uh, Christianity, state of the world, state of Christianity in today's world. But we also have conversations about, you know, just life in general, technology. We're both technophiles. We love technology. Um, and he has been trying very hard to build his business uh, using newer forms of social media. To bring this all back around to the Christianity uh, concept uh, and this article, it seems to me that we are in a major culture shift. Um, and I was also relayed this through another uh, keynote that I'm uh, watching by... Um, I can't remember the gentleman's... The gentleman's name is very hard to pronounce. His link will be in the show notes. But he talks about hustle. My cousin Mark um, extensively... Has been following him extensively. Um, anyway, I was watching one of his keynotes. Again, that'll, the link to that will be down in the show notes. Um, and we are in a time now where... If you really think about it and stop to think about it... Communication between individuals, how individuals interact with each other, is progressing more and more towards the phone. I'm talking to you on an iPhone. I'm recording this video on my iPhone. Um, our phone is becoming the predominant device in which we connect with others um, and connect with the world even because, you know, we all have, oh, well, many of us have internet on our phones 
And that's how we communicate with the world. We text message, we Snapchat, we Facebook, we you know, kick, we, you know, we Twitter, we tweet. Um, all these so, all these ways of interacting with each other through social media, through online resources, the internet um, is shifting more and more to make sure your website can be viewed and interacted with on a mobile device. We are mobile. We are fast-paced. We, we are constantly being barraged from all manners of advertising, news outlets, and it's all coming at us very fast, very furious. The amount of knowledge that is being uh, transmitted is um, mind-boggling if you really stop and think about it. And the point of all that is, as Christians, we know, as a Christian, we know, we believe, we know that our truth is immutable. Our truth does not change. The Bible does not change. Our God does not change. However, the way in which we as Christians reach out to individuals who may be not Christian, maybe seeking truth, uh, maybe feel like they have found some sort of version of the truth, but it's not the truth that we believe is the full truth, um, is, uh, is through social media. We are at a point now where culturally things are shifting, and things are shifting fast. As Christians who are trying to reach the people of today, the people of our generation, the people of the generations coming after us, um, we have to take into account the fact that culturally and how we reach people, how we interact with people, changes. It's always changed. Culture has been shifting since culture started. And we can no longer... Uh, pigeonhole ourselves into one type of way of reaching people. As Christians, as apologists, as people who want to bring the message of Christ to those who don't have it, if we don't jump on board and we don't start making some significant grounds in uh, creating online communities through social media, through the internet, that will draw people um, millennials, um, people coming after that, whatever the next group is going to be, those who were in it from the beginning and are still plugging in. Um, if we don't get, if we don't continue to drive forward in those aspects, regardless of personally how you feel, um, if you feel like it's a, you know, it's not about feeling, right? Culture is what culture is. Just because you don't like technology, just because you may not really be well adept at social media, just because you don't like spending a lot of time, you know, doing things on the internet, uh, just because you may personally feel that the best way to reach people is to personally interact with them, the rest of the world's going to leave us in the dust. And I'm not saying that God can't use people in all ways, right? But that flips around, right? He can use those who believe in personal interaction. He can also use the internet. The internet's just a tool, man. Social media is just a tool. And as with any tool, you can use it for good or you can use it for evil. You can use it to spread lies, propaganda. You can also use it to spread truth. So the, the long and short of this video blog is that I have come to the conclusion that as a guy who loves technology and as a guy who uh, wants to spread the message of Christ but has always struggled to figure out the best approach and as someone who has struggled in his own walk with Christ over the years figuring out my place in that walk, um, I've decided to challenge myself to start doing many more videos on Christianity um, and use the social media outlets and the technology that's available to try and spread the message of Christ, to try to spread my apologetics, as crude as it may be to begin with, and to just try to use technology to reach people, man. The world's spinning out of control. And what we need right now are dedicated Christians 
who will take up the mantra of we are going to meet them where they are as Christ met every one of his followers and meets you and I today. Christ doesn't expect us to come to him, right? Christ will open the door and come to you. But in order to do that, Christ wants to meet you right where you are today. A broken sinner who happens to be spend most of his time maybe on the internet. Or a broken sinner who spends a lot of time Snapchatting, Facebooking. These are outlets by which God's word can be brought to a starving generation and starving generations to come. So that's pretty much the gist of that video. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you stuck it out to the end. Look forward to more content. Um, I'm really going to try in the new year to push to do more than just, you know, one video every six months like I've been doing. So um, until then, God bless and have a great day.